Welcome back to the Tyson Tidbits. This is Diego from the Samsung Developer Program. And today we're going to be talking about Tyson.net development and we're going to have an overview of the uh, platform and the capabilities that you have to develop applications with Tyson.net. So stay tuned. So let's take a look at the Tyson architecture. When you're going to create applications with Tyson, you are going to have three different options, three different frameworks that you can choose from. The first one is native applications. So native apps are written in C or C++. And the main advantage is that they have direct access to the Tyson native APIs. So uh, many developers obviously prefer that because they uh, may have uh, knowledge on micro components or C, C++, and, and then they have that option, of course. Now, the second one would be web applications. That is pretty much almost like creating a, a website, uh, a web page. So we are going to use the same technologies, HTML, CSS, JavaScript for the logic, and that has been so far the, the focus of the videos that we have created in this series. Uh, I prefer like that one for developers that may not have any kind of experience with Tyson because uh, it's it's quite common knowledge, uh, some of these technologies, so they may have a little bit of an easy time on setting up the UI and get well running. The third option that is the newest addition to the Tyson family is the .NET applications. And that's pretty much going to be the focus of, of the rest of the video. Now, let's take a quick look at the different aspects of Tyson.net. So obviously the first part is .NET. And if you don't know, .NET is a software framework developed by Microsoft, and usually it runs primarily on, on Microsoft Windows, right? The second part is that unlike uh, web applications for Tyson and native applications, the language that we're going to be using is C Sharp, and uh, that's going to be coupled with Xamarin. So what is uh, Xamarin? So Xamarin is a company that now it's owned by Microsoft and they create an open source software platform that has that name, Xamarin, and uh, pretty much is focused on cross-platform development. So if you're a developer that wants to create mobile applications, wearable applications, and you want them in different platforms, so not just Samsung platforms, but also, uh, well, regular Android, iOS, then you can use Xamarin to create the UIs and even, well, all the logic that your application is going to have without having to rewrite it several times. So that's an advantage that many developers see on Xamarin and, well, in general, uh, .NET slash Xamarin um, uh, development and they are aiming to reach as many uh, users as they can following this this philosophy this, this uh, mechanics then the next thing is that unlike the other two methods the other two frameworks you're not going to be using uh, B, uh, Tyson Studio to develop your applications you're going to be using Visual Studio that is an IDE also created by Microsoft and maintained by them and that in this case it can run on Mac or Windows. So that is a little bit of a disadvantage compared with the two other uh, frameworks that we have seen because Tyson Studio runs Mac, Windows, but also Linux. So you could, uh, if depending on your preferences or the machines that you have, you could still could look into that. Uh, now, the other thing is that it's still they use the same emulator and tools like packaging tools uh, and, and, and like certif certificate tools that you use with web and native apps. So just because you are using um, Visual Studio doesn't mean that you are going to lose the tools that you already are using for your development uh, of other Tyson applications. But in general, you are going to have a lot of differences on how .NET works and that's primarily because you, we are relying on Microsoft to maintain and keep developing the Xamarin, .NET, Visual Studio, and pretty much everything that goes with it. Now that you are interested in creating your first application with Tyson.net, where do you go? The best place is developer.samsung.com. You're going to find the resources, tools, uh, tutorials, everything that you may need for development with Samsung, not specifically uh, Tyson.net. Uh, 
But in this particular example, we're going to go to Build, and then here you can go to Galaxy Watch or Tyson. I'm going to go the the Galaxy Watch is quite a specific, and you can scroll down to find the option that you need. That in this case, .NET. When you're here, you can start following the, the different steps, but I would recommend to open the development environment uh, because this is going to take, give, take you to the different steps that you're going to need to set up your machine. This one is going to open a, a page on tyson.org and it's going to show you the different prerequisites that you need for uh, Visual Studio. Just as a note, uh, Visual Studio is a big uh, program, uh, so it's going to take you some time just to download it and install it. After that, it's going to do the, this tutorial is going to take you through the different requirements and uh, setting up options that you are going to need for installing the extension. Now, if you are not uh, using a Windows machine, you also have the option on the left side to go for the Visual Studio Mac extension for Tyson. That is going to take you through, again, the steps, the prerequisites that you're going to need for um, the extension on for Visual Studio running on a Mac machine, on an Apple machine. So it's pretty much the same, but uh, since there are two different operating systems, you are going to have uh, some different steps that you can follow. Now, these two processes, like I mentioned, they may take some time installing all the tools on your Windows machine or your Mac. Uh, so we're going to dedicate a couple of videos just to do that. But uh, since this is just an overview, we're not going to cover it. After you're done installing your tools, you can go back to developer.samsung.com and you can start creating your first application with Tyson.net. So this tutorial is going to take you through the different steps and you can see it here, building your application, deploying it and running your application that is going to show you how to do it on an emulator or an actual device and finally how you can enhance it. So these are the first steps obviously to create a small application with Tyson.net uh, but they are like the the cornerstone for you to learn uh, more about Tyson and this is a specific way to create applications. So there are several other things that we will have to cover in future videos, not only the installation of the tools, but also how to start your first application, uh, perhaps following the same tutorial that we have in developer.samsung.com or just creating something different to show you uh, how to use the Xamarin forms or just in general how to use the framework. But uh, I hope that you like this, that this helps you to get a little bit of a better understanding on how Tyson.net works and also uh, to encourage you to go and check it on the website and start cre creating applications on your own. I hope that you have a great day and keep tuned for the next videos.